the American healthcare system is badly broken. The present system doesn't work, and it's going to take us down. We need a whole new kind of medicine. We're in the grip of a very big industry, and it doesn't want to stop making money. If I spend five minutes with you and then put in one of these stents, I'd probably get paid $1,500. For me to spend 45 minutes with a patient to try to figure out what their true problem is, I'd probably get paid $15. It's a completely irrational system. We don't have a healthcare system in this country. We have a disease management system. We're spending almost twice as much in America as any other country on Earth, but our lifespan isn't even in the top 20. 30,000 Medicare recipients die each year from care they didn't need. That's the equivalent of a jumbo jet crashing every single week. If the aviation industry killed as many people, we'd be up in arms. The administration pays you based on how many patients you see. All right, who's next? If you try and buck the system, someone says, what can we do to get your productivity up? I'm not interested in getting my productivity up. I'm interested in helping patients. We're seeing the military just being a microcosm of the problems society's having. Soldiers' use of prescription drugs has tripled in the past five years. This medications I was on. Only by accepting that the American healthcare system is badly broken will we be able to seek out the escape fires, the potential solutions. There are answers. One company has figured out how to lower healthcare costs by more than 40%. We provide incentives for people to engage in healthier behaviors. The Army Surgeon General directed that we establish the Pain Management Task Force to take a look at alternatives to narcotics. I was skeptical, so skeptical. I've gotten a lot of inspiration, a different perspective there's a different way of doing things that is possible. If I think about what healthcare could be like, it would have a lot more care in it. The healthcare system is unsustainable. We're really mortgaging the future. Not just the health of healthcare, we're talking about the health of the nation.